Hi! Available from 2020 SP3 release, the DevWeb Engine now supports automatic signing of web requests with AWS Signature version 4 for applications using AWS services. When you send HTTP requests to an AWS service, they need to be signed so that the service can identify who sent the request. Currently, AWS Signature version 4 is the latest supported signature version. To sign a request, you first calculate a hash value of the request. Then you use that hash value, some other information from the request, and your secret access key to calculate another hash known as the signature. To simplify client-side scripting, signing process is done automatically by the DevWeb engine. All that is needed is to specify the AWS object on a web request and provide the AWS credentials by passing the AWS authentication object to the setUserCredentials function. So, in this session, I will show you how the AWS credentials are defined in your script, how the AWS signature is defined in the web request, and of course, I will show you some examples. This will be demonstrated using LoadRunner Developer in Visual Studio Code, but can also be used with the DevWeb protocol in Vuejin. Starting with code generation, given a HAR file that describes the traffic flow over an AWS service, during this process, predefined web request AWS signing property and set user credentials are generated for requests with AWS authentication. Don't forget to fill your missing credentials. For something a bit more interesting, I will show you another script, a simple flow that demonstrates the work with AWS S3 service. Adding an asset to an AWS console, downloading it, and removing that asset. You can see that we defined our user credentials with the AWS authentication. We also defined the AWS signing as a web request default. Hence, each web request will have that signature attribute. Our asset will be a text file with an arbitrary name for the test purposes. You can notice the four requests to the AWS service. A put request to edit the text file. A get request that downloads it. A delete request that deletes it. And once again, a get request as we are making sure the asset was deleted. Let's run the script and see the AWS console and our replay log. You can see that the text file is not among the current existing files at first. However, after the first request was sent, it will show up. You can also see the authorization header with the AWS authentication that was generated by the DevWeb engine. It will be generated for each request to the AWS service. For the second request, our first GET request, notice in the log that the HTTP status is 200 OK and the download transaction has passed. For the delete request, we will once again look at the current existing console files as before. After refreshing, we can see that our test file is gone. And for the last request, we will look at the log and see that the status is HTTP 404, meaning that our test file no longer exists. And that's it. Thank you.